OK, delighted to say we are joined on the line now by one of the stars of Tenet, Himesh Patel. Himesh, you're very welcome to the show. Have you seen this in the big screen yet is the first question. Yes, I have. Yeah, I got to see it a couple of weeks ago on the IMAX screen in London. It's phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's really quite something, and and seeing it in the cinema, it, it's really great that that you know should people feel safe to do so, then they can go and experience it in the cinema. I'm not sure if you had many conversations with everybody else who was involved in the production of this. Is there a sense that you guys recognise the responsibility almost of coming back to cinemas, and this is the first real movie we've had in cinemas since everything has locked down as a result of the pandemic? The, the little bit of responsibility or and pressure that comes with that, I guess. Um, I, I think in terms of pressure, it, it's not really anything that we're worried about on a personal level or on a financial level. I don't think anyone's doing it so that we can, you know, have a great opening weekend and make back all their money and that sort of thing. It's about this, the experience of going to the cinema. It's something that Chris celebrates, Chris Nolan. And it's something that he makes his movies for that reason. He wants them to be experienced in a cinema. And it, it's great that the movie has been, you know, that the studio has seen the movie and that they're confident that they want to try something new with it where they can kind of share it with people in the cinemas as and when, you know, it's safe to do so. Um, and I think it's just about giving people the option again of going to that special place that we call the cinema and to experience watching a great movie like this. For sure. Can you take us back, Kamesh, to when you get this part and when you start to learn a little bit about Tenet? Uh, how, when do you realise how big a project this is and how massive this is going to be? I think, you know, the minute I got the call that I was going to be auditioning for a Christopher Nolan movie, you kind of realise that obviously it'll be of a certain scale, but I didn't get to read the script until I was offered the part. And then I, I read the script and that's when I realised just how big it was going to be. You know, Chris's movies of late have been, you know, big scale films, um, you know, with, with all sorts of amazing practical effects. And, and, and I was expecting something of that scale, but this kind of took it and, and it became even bigger, really. There were things I was reading on the page that I was just wondering how on earth they were going to do it. <laughs> And then, of course, you know, in speaking with Chris and, and, you know, about my role and about the various sequences in the film, it was amazing to find out exactly how they were going to do it. And uh, it's amazing to witness it on the screen. Is this the first time you meet Christopher Nolan? Had you met him before actually working with him professionally? No, it's the first time that I met Chris. Uh, and, you know, it's been a real pleasure getting to know him and, and work with him. Uh, is there a way you can verbalise how his genius is underpinned or, or where that comes from or uh, kind of the way he thinks is about films? For, for people who've never met him, who, who aren't too familiar with how he operates inside a, a production set, is there a way you can almost describe that for us? He just has a real passion for cinema and for filmmaking and for pushing the boundaries of filmmaking. And as I say about the cinematic experience, about going to a cinema and just experiencing something you've never experienced before. And I think he strives to bring that to people. And he's done it time and again and, and succeeded. And, and I think he's done it again this time. Um, you know, I think he has a real passion for, for cinema, for the art of cinema, but also about how to draw audiences to the cinema, how to entertain people, but also make us think um, you know, he doesn't look down on his audiences. He 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 uh, appeals to our intelligence, and so he tells you know stories that are layered and that have uh, amazing sort of levels to them um, in terms of time. You know, he's really fascinated with time, the different ways that time can work, and so he takes that idea and and amplifies it in this movie. Really, that seems to be a theme that prevails through a lot of conversations that we have with actors at the moment. We had, we had Anson Boone on a couple of months ago talking about 1917 and how one of the greatest triumphs of that was that everybody involved gave the audience the credit of being intelligent people and not trying to patronise them with tells or uh, being unnecessarily childish in how they, they, they describe their film or how they produced it. The same can definitely be said for everything that Nolan does. 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I think you've got to, you can't look down on your audiences. You, you know, people are intelligent. You know, cinema is an art form that's been going on for, a, you know, a hundred years at least now. And it's a language that we all speak. And, and so people know when something isn't quite right. And, um, and so I think Chris understands that language of cinema. He knows how to convey that to people. Himesh, you are a Tottenham Hotspur fan. We couldn't let you go without asking you about the season that has been, the season that is to come for Tottenham. Uh, let's put this to you. What would be your Jose Mourinho satisfaction rating out of 10 at the moment? <laughs> I'll, I'll give him a 7, I think. You know, it's not been an easy season. And, um, you know, I wasn't convinced. I mean, I'm, I'm a big Pochettino fan, so I wasn't particularly convinced when he, when he came in and replaced... Um, replaced Poch but he's done a he's done a good job with what he had you know it's been a really difficult season with injuries and and that sort of thing but we'll see we'll see how this transfer window goes and hopefully we can bounce back in the coming season